So this is a four-round super welterweight contest between Carvel Crocker in the black sparkly shorts with Guy Rocket in the corner and Berman Sanchez in the black shorts with the WBC logos. Here we go, round one. And your commentators, myself, Kieran Gibbons and Dewey Powell of KO Cymru. Crocker, the taller of the two fighters. Already seen that natural size advantage for him, Kieran. Pushing Sanchez back and keeping him there as well. Yeah, he's holding the centre of the ring well in his opening moments of this contest. I'm sure that's what the, his trainer, Guy Lockett, will have been telling him in the pre fight instructions. It's good to see Carville back in the ring so soon as well, uh, just two weeks ago having his third professional fight and Yuri's having his fourth already. Fast, impressive combinations. I mean, that, that's the thing probably with uh, 
with guys when they turn pro they, they expect to be fighting all the time and quite often it's months in between contests yeah and it's quite a gear shift then from when they were amateurs and it was every other week or every, you know, every other couple of weeks and you can quite quickly lose momentum like that but Carvel I think since his debut he's taken to it to the pros like a duck to water I know he's, he's come with the endorsement uh, to Gary from Joe Cortina so in Welsh boxing it doesn't get you know much better endorsement than that and uh, yeah like I say he's taking a duck to water sparring Leon Williams often and I know he's impressing in the gym and doing the same again here tonight so far yeah he's looking really good so far against this experienced Costa Rican Sanchez having his 81st contest this evening having his 14th fight of just this year as well so he's a busy <laughs> boy knows his way around the boxing ring for sure interesting he's got the WBC logo on his shorts is yeah, he hoping well, to get a ranking with them or something after this do you possibly think? he's got a good history um, back you know before he settled into this sort of away corner um, role that he fulfills now he fought uh, Miguel Burchelt and Jorge Linares so you know much like the weight divisions I think that was super featherweight and lightweight but um, you know he, he was a contender once upon a time if you like probably far from those days now but I, I think he's one of those if you put it on you know you'll he will you know you won't just tuck up and run away he'll, he'll give you a little reminder back just to say you know don't take your liberties I am capable we've seen that there with that left swing but Carvel slightly overwhelming him when he extends those uh, combinations Tonight's boxing taking place in the market hall here in Nauka Veni. An unusual venue for pro boxing, I think most people would agree. Certainly one for the summer, I think, isn't it? Couldn't imagine being in here in the winter. <laughs> Interesting first round. Very good boxing. So into the second round of this super welterweight contest. A very impressive first round from Crocker. Fast combinations, working to head and body. And what, what would Gary Lockett have told Crocker in between the rounds, do you think there, Dewey? I think he would have told him just to keep his shape, keep it long and keep it strong. I think Carvel's got very good fundamentals. You see, you know, he, he's got a quick, uh, you know, fast, snappy jab. Um, would have learned that with Splot Amateur Boxing Club with Pat Mahoney and James Mazzigala. Um So I, I think Gary will just reinforce those fundamentals. A couple of really good body shots there as well from Crocker. And it's a big old ring they've got to play with tonight, Kieran. But they're not um, not really using it, are they? They're you know really a meter away from each other here. Yeah, Sanchez looks like the type of guy in his prime he'd probably be happy to stand and trade. I mean, he's trying to just use head movement to try and avoid most of the shots rather than his feet. Oh, big swing and right hook from Sanchez. Yeah, they were the shots I mentioned earlier, those reminders, just to try and keep Carvel honest so he doesn't get too carried away. And in fairness, he's not so far. He's pacing it quite nicely. I mean, this is the, the conundrum, if you like, for... Young has that right hand again from Sanchez. Crocker replied. Yeah, returned with interest. Interestingly, Sanchez now seems happy to punch with Crocker. Yeah, he's picking his spots, isn't he? He's waiting until Crocker's shots are flowing. And uh, especially with that left hook we just saw there, you don't want to get trading left hooks with the South American. Sanchez's record going into this fight, 30 wins, 46 defeats and the four draws. Sanchez blocking a lot of these shots though now with his hands, his high guard. And we've seen, he, he does these rounds quite comfortably. He's been to the world before the box, Lloyd Germain and, and Ben Crocker and boxers like that. And no, nobody, you know, they, they do tend to beat him you know, convincingly, but nobody runs him over. You can see there's, there's a, you know, although out of his probably natural weight class, there is a bit, you know, he's a bit tasty when he lets his hands go. Carvel just navigating that. 
Yeah, it's really impressive from Carvel. As I was saying earlier, before the uh, the action heated up a little bit, it's difficult for a, a prospect how much how much pressure do you put on these journeymen? Because, like, like you said, most of them don't get stopped. And do, do you coast to a points victory, or do you try and force a stoppage? You look impressive. It's, it's a difficult balance to, to find sometimes. So into the second half of this four-round contest, and I'm uh, pleased to bring onto the commentary Richie Gardner, trainer and manager. What do you think of Carvel Crocker's performance so far, Richie? Looks very crisp behind the jab. You can see that um, Carvel uh, is very measured in his approach. Uh, Bermain Sanchez, very, very, um, very tricky journeyman insofar as he knows how to control the pocket. He moves in and out very well. Uh, he slides with the punches, he takes all the venom out of uh, Carvel's punches and you can see that Gary Lockett quite animated in the corner, no doubt he's given his instructions and I, I'm sure that what he'll want to see from Carvel is, is perhaps more shots to the body, try to bring those hands down and, and straight away there you see that um, Crocker has thrown a lovely right hand and driven uh, Sanchez across the ring. He's, uh, he's working very well, he's very correct in everything that he does and um, you can see now Sanchez's hands are dropping just a little bit, he scored with a massive left hook there, um, Sanchez having a little bit of a moan which is always the first signs of distress. As a trainer Rich, do you, at what stage do you tell your fighter to try and you know, kick on and try and get a stoppage or, or do you think he should just be content to, to score the points victory? Well, against an experienced guy like Sanchez, if you, if you can get the stoppage, um, then that's absolutely fantastic. But, you know, he's not the type of fighter that gets stopped very often. And he, he just rolls with the punches so well. He slides away from the punches. He, he rides those shots. Um, so what I'd be telling my fighter to do is just remain patient. Don't do anything silly. Because every now and again, you'll see a fighter like Sanchez will just spring off the ropes, come in with a big left hook. And, you know, it, it, it's not unusual for, um, for a fighter to spring a, a, an upset when, of course, you can be complacent. And it, it's, it's more a case of being patient, taking your time and picking your shots. Um, I like the way the Croc is um, closing, the, closing the distance now and, and working more inside. He's working some uppercuts now, and you can see that Sanchez's head is getting lifted. But bear in mind, I mean, I appreciate that Sanchez's wins have mostly come um, outside of this country, but he does still have 30 wins on his record. Yeah, Sanchez's last victory was back in May 2022 in Argentina, as Richie was saying there on the road, or not in the UK at least. Lovely, lovely right hook there from Crocker. Like I said, it's, it's about being patient, it's about working the body, trying to bring the hands down, and, and if you get an opportunity, then, then wonderful. You can see that um, Sanchez now is, is leaning into the shots, coming over the front foot a little bit, protecting the body a little bit more, uh, and that's perhaps why Crocker's ripping those uppercuts through the middle. Looking for a bit of space there, lovely left, right, pushes Sanchez back. Sanchez has to come back with a jab, he's got to, he's got to try to be a bit more honest now, throw a little bit more just to keep Crocker off him perhaps. Slipping Crocker's job, jab, coming coming back with a jab of his own. But again, um, Crocker just, just looking with the left, right. You can see there, uh, when Crocker fell in a little bit, you know, Sanchez comes back up. He's, he's a shorter fighter, comes up with the head. You've also got to watch very carefully in respect of, you know, clashes of heads and, and any accidental injuries. You don't want your fighter getting cut and hurt, which could have a long-term detrimental effect to him. Thank you, Richie. A touch of gloves and show respect between the two boxers for the fourth and final round. Referee Chris Jones from Swansea will be the scoring official should the contest go the distance. Fairly sure he's got uh, Crocker winning every round so far. Oh, lovely left hook to the body and switch it up to the head from Crocker. I think Crocker feels quite comfortable there now, Kieran. Just seen him squeeze up his guard and, and almost walk forward with uh, without much of a jab but to, to get there. He goes well to the body, doesn't he, Crocker? Yeah, and he goes both sides as well. It's not, you know, you often see an orthodox fight or might, might favour a left hook to the body, but Crocker makes, makes sure that he goes to both sides and he doubles up too. And there's that right hook to the body again there we was just mentioning. This is interesting, but this is where, he, where he's able to practice things maybe in the fight that you, you might not be 
you might not come across very often you know the chance with a journeyman to stand up close they might hold they might turn turn you around they might mess you around just to kill the clock and do their job on the night but Sanchez is given Crocker opportunities to work on what he does up for, up close as well and of course all boxers say as well even though you can try certain things in sparring is never quite the same when you're in the ring in a contest with a big crowd yeah and that's the experience part isn't it Crocker would have gone through the process of making a weight not a championship weight but a weight for this um, he would have, he would have put, wrapped his hands uh, and then put on small gloves all that will uh, all those experiences are something to take from every fight and if you can learn one lesson for every development fight that you have then that's progress and you know you, we often see boxers especially on the small old scene in Wales potentially have too many of these but I think the way Crocker's the, what Croc has shown us in his four fights as a pro so far is that you know maybe with another four he could be ready for something like a Welsh title by then it's impressive the controlled aggression from Crocker and there's those body shots we were talking about again doubling up on them never really got carried away though Kim when he's had success there he's not pulled under pressure relentlessly he still stayed quite composed kept his shape and reset to go again and also he just glided out of range when Sanchez loaded up with a big hook just out of range to avoid the punch but not out of range to fire back with shots of his own last few moments of the contest and it's been an impressive contest for Crocker from Cardiff I'm sure he learned a lot from that Still undefeated. 